Hello, I'm Andrew Pritchard. Thank you for watching today's Canada Regional Forecast, brought to you by Nutrien Ag Solutions. We'll take a look here at the overall jet stream flow across North America, and what we're going to be flipping to is a pattern where we see this upper level low, this kind of broad trough spinning away, and as it does so, we're seeing little systems kind of rotate around the outside edge of that. What does that mean for the Canadian prairies? Well, for the southern region here, shift us towards a, a cooler and slightly more active pattern as we get closer to uh, the weekend. So let's take a little bit of a look, a little closer look at, at what this actually means here across the region. Now starting off here on Tuesday, we're looking at the European model here, the forecast precipitation type and surface pressure. As we begin, we see a little low across, uh, you know, a northern Manitoba, I would call that, with some light rain shower activity possible across northern Manitoba and northern Saskatchewan. Sorry, that low is sitting over northern Saskatchewan, not Manitoba. It swings into northern Manitoba as we get into the overnight and continues to push east out of the region. Now, we remain pretty quiet across high production regions here, you know, of the southern prairie region uh, until we get closer to the weekend. And it's as we get into Friday night, we start to see a storm system beginning to develop across uh, the northern plains of the U.S. and the southern prairie here of Canada, We're starting to see some snow across parts of uh, Alberta here, seeing some snow in southern Alberta, maybe some light snow, light wintry mixed precipitation across southern Saskatchewan. As we get into the day on Saturday, starting to see that precipitation continue uh, in relatively disorganized fashion, uh, but it's like a multi-day stretch here where we could see the potential for precipitation, but it's not going to be uh, that it rains or snows for two or three days straight. Uh, it's just going to be kind of the, the setup with this pattern as uh, another storm system begins to develop later in the week over uh, the northern plains and begins to move off towards the northeast. So. What does that mean in terms of actual total snowfall? We're going to see a mix of rain and snow opportunities, but uh, just looking at snowfall here, seeing some uh, some accumulation potential uh, in high elevation front range areas here as we head through the week. But again, it's really in once we get closer to uh, we're into Friday night, Friday now, uh, starting to see some snow accumulating across uh, south central Alberta on a Friday morning. And then as we get into the later part of the weekend, getting into Saturday morning now, starting to see that snow accumulate uh, across the, uh, the Canadian Prairie region here. So it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing with uh, a patchy potential for accumulating snow across this region here. Again, from southern Alberta into southern Saskatchewan and maybe far southern Manitoba, but Manitoba looks like it might miss out on this one. So again, it's not snow for everyone, it's snow for some. And we're not talking about uh, a swath of, you know, six to 18 inches here. We're talking about maybe, again, a disorganized swath uh, with locally high totals around four to six inches of snow. But broadly, uh, just looking at a lot of people getting maybe a coating of snow from, again, southern Alberta into southern Saskatchewan and then maybe far southern Manitoba. Total liquid precipitation from this one, again, it's it's mostly along and south of Highway 16 here, uh, stretching from Calgary uh, into southern Saskatchewan and far southern Manitoba. This precipitation up here, this falls midweek. This is your Tuesday into your Wednesday uh, precipitation. To the south, this is our Friday, Saturday, Sunday precipitation. So uh, central regions here, look at that, northern Alberta, central Saskatchewan into uh, southern Manitoba, that's the region where uh, perhaps we stay mostly dry. So in this region here, maybe cutting in between these two storm systems uh, towards the north. Remember, this is early week down here. This is Friday through Sunday. I wanted to write Monday there, but so kind of split there early to midweek in the north Late week looking across the south and the central part may be missing out a Closer look here at Alberta before we talk about high temperatures again uh, Look at that northern Alberta may be staying mostly dry. It's looking like southern Alberta That's where the heavier precipitation is going to be and most of this falling late in the week High temperatures, you'll see the cooling trend as we play this out. The upper teens, close to 20 degrees across southern Alberta as we uh, look at our Tuesday high temperatures. Getting into the day Wednesday, single digits across the north, teens in the south. Thursday, teens in the south, single digits in the north again. Friday, now we're starting to see the impacts of that trough swinging systems through. And then Sunday, really, uh, this is when we're talking about seeing some accumulating snow across this region. And there are high temperatures reflect that sub-zero on the front range, single digits widespread elsewhere. 
as we shift over towards the east, looking at uh, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Again, late week precipitation. This is your uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday precipitation falling across southern Saskatchewan and maybe far southern Manitoba. You know, we're looking out four or five days, so this is not going to be set in stone exactly uh, where we see these swaths. So uh, it could be that some of this precipitation sneaks into southern Manitoba, but as it stands now, uh, looking mostly dry across southern Manitoba for the week uh, with, again, here's your northern precipitation happening Tuesday and Wednesday, and maybe uh, Thursday across parts of northern Manitoba. High temperatures, it's going to be the same story. Uh, warm for the early part of the week. Look at that, teens to uh, near 20 degrees for a lot of you here in Saskatchewan and then for the southern half of Manitoba. Wednesday, high temperatures. Thursday, cooling off pretty drastically. Now Friday. And then that reinforcing shot comes Saturday as we tar start talking about, uh, again, snow in this region across southern Saskatchewan, maybe dry but still cool uh, across southern Manitoba, talking about high temperatures in the single digits. As always, Eric Snodgrass will have an in-depth look at the evolution of the next two weeks in our Thursday morning ag forecast video, and I'll have your next Canadian Prairie Regional update for you right here, midday on Friday. Have a great day.